We're back, people, and today we're breaking down film on Chasen Hines, newest member of the Miami Dolphins practice squad, offensive lineman, and I like this move for a couple reasons. Main thing being, like, I like going for those young, athletic players to add to the practice squad that can really have high upside and be developed. Hines, only 23 years old, has a ridiculous physical and athletic skill set. Like, he moves really well for a guy of his size. Like, he is huge out there, and he's still young out of LSU. He was a six-round pick two years ago. And I think the biggest positive is game to really all come as a run blocker. The athleticism, as I said, stands out really well. He climbs to the second level. He just makes those types of plays look easy. He's got great size. And his awareness and understanding of angles and leverage in the run game is also stands out. I would say his biggest issues are in pass protection. He struggles with technique. Even though he's a bigger player, he doesn't have the greatest like play strength or anchor. And then um, another thing that I think he could really improve upon is just like sustaining and latching onto those blocks on both areas. Like he can struggle to sort of sustain those uh, blocks for a long period of time. So he can work on the hand usage and things like that. But right here, this is an excellent play. Down blocking to 94, helping create that space, and then basically taking three players. He gets his touchdown for this running back. Five yards here, he goes down, climbs the second level. You can see he attacks a low hip. He has really, like he's only 6'3", but he weighs like 340 pounds, something like that. But he attacks a low hip. Moves 94 out of the way, helps his center get complete control, then climbs to 45, pushes him out of the way, and pushes him also into 44, which knocks him off balance. So you can see, I say, you know, he creates good movement with that, like, momentum combined with his athleticism. For guy of his size, he just moves with ease, everything, taking these guys out of the play, and gives his running back an easy lane to get that touchdown. Like, this is as good as it gets in the preseason. He was putting on, like, a preseason highlight reel with his run blocking and then the pass protection definitely needs a lot of work here we can see Hines out in space you can just see the athleticism on a screen here takes a good angle you can see him adjust right there and just destroys a db out in space like this guy moves really well i just like adding people that have these high upside like the athleticism is there he just needs to work on some little things mostly in pass protection but you can see him like use a little bit of a slingshot here slingshot this guy by out of the way and then you can see the speed readjust his angle here a lot of guys off the women they just go like either they're either too slow to either get there and make a play or they're going too out of control too fast for their own good here he just sort of slows down adjust his angle on this db and just destroys him out in space um, which is nice to see that he can be a nice little space player for the team down the line if developed correctly. It wasn't all bad in pass protection. Like, he did give up a decent amount of sacks. But, like, this right here is a pretty good rep overall. Just one-on-one -on -one with this three-tech. Thinks he can improve. But, like, if he was, like, he could physically dominate people at times. Like, here, you can just see he's very smooth out of his stance. He gets, boom, he explodes out of it and just under control. And then he gets a little overextended here. This is where he can get into it. He's a little bit of a waist bender, bending at the waist too much. You don't want that. He will overextend and lose balance, as you'll see when he has some gives up some sacks later in the video. But right here, he's able to, you know, recover and just look how powerful he could be with that hand strength right there to just hold on using that left hand because, you know, using one hand longer than <laughs> is longer than using two. And he just gets complete control of the situation. Then he stays control and stays balanced. The sack ends up coming from somewhere else, but he does a pretty solid job on that rep. It's just he needs to be a lot more consistent. Here's one of the sacks that he gave up in the preseason. Like, you can see he just sort of dominated 90, uh, 97 on an earlier rep from an earlier, you know, uh, from a similar technique. He's a little more in the four here instead of a three. But getting out, you can see he's under control. Everything's good here. He's ready. But he just sort of gets high with his hands and he shoots out and overextends again. He needs to be a little more patient. He could be um, just everything a little more balanced. Like right here, he looks fine. And then once he goes over, boom, bending at the waist, just misses his hands. Um, he needs to be better with his timing and placement overall and then now just gets overextended and thrown to the side Just the biggest struggles to his game all pretty much come in pass protection and all our technique issues But at least those things can be worked upon like he's still young only 23 And he has a lot of traits that you would like as an offensive line For an offensive line coach and our offensive line coach has been developed Like the new coach has been developing these players who did not look good last year into looking much better technically so maybe Hines can take that next step on the Dolphins practice squad, you know, just a high upside player that doesn't have to play. But, you know, if there's injuries, maybe he gets brought up and, you know, it becomes a solid depth piece for the team. He just does a great job of comboing and climbing to the second level. Attack the low hip, look at him and create that space. 
He could do a little bit better job once he gets to the linebacker, sort of latching on and, you know, creating space. But this is still a very good rep to help create this lane. You can see him attack the low hit, move 94 out of the way. His eyes are up to 47. He knows where he needs to climb. He helps create that lane. And then he could have took, he like doesn't get the perfect angle, perfect hands on him. But he's still able to drive him a little bit. And then, you know, he ends up getting wrapped up from someone else first. So it's not really, you know, on him. But he does a good job of helping create this lane and you can just see the upside on this play of his ability to climb get to the second level and work on these blocks in the running game you can tell he's quite aware and smart in these areas the other stack that i wanted to show from heinz that he gave up here you can just see that he doesn't have the greatest play strength or anchor at times he can just get you know pushed back into the quarterback it's just something that he needs to work on in these areas he can get opened up too it's just a technique issue like here he does a better job staying patient he gets a little overextended not as bad as last time but he's able to recover but once right here this guy has the lower leverage advantage if he loses the leverage advantage which you know he usually can get that he's not like 6'3 but he definitely has a weight advantage but once he loses that leverage he just gets pushed back opened up into the quarterback somewhere i just don't think he you know feels as comfortable going backwards as he does going forward when he can use more of his athleticism um out in space like that but then he can struggle like this. So it's just a couple things that he really needs to clean up. And if he cleans up, cleans up at least one of them, I could see him, you know, being like a depth on the roster. If he cleans up all of it, then, you know, he could end up being a starter down the line. He's still very young, and there's a lot to mold with a player like him. It wasn't all bad in pass protection. You could see at least he was aware of twists and stunts. And when he was active with his hands and he wasn't overextending, it did look good. So it was more of a technique thing. This guy goes into him. He's still bending at the waist a little too much, but he's not as bad here. He passes him off to left tackle. You can see him throw him to the side here, and he has active eyes and feet waiting for the looper to come back in, and he just you know helps stop that. But it's nice to see from a mental perspective, which is which is good. I think the mental thing that I like, liking something about a mental game always gives me a better chance about these types of players' upside. Usually if it's more of a technical issue, but they're smart, you can tell they have football intelligence, then I have a better you know feeling that they can... Uh, be developed and learn and be better in those areas whether it except like usually when it's like say if it's a track guy and he's just pure track he's not a football player you can tell Heinz is a football player not just a pure athlete and uh, I think he can be developed into being a better player just based off you know the athleticism and football intelligence alone the athleticism as a run blocker is so impressive here he gets to be uncovered and just climb to the second level right away and the ability to cut off 45 there is actually insane like from his spot 45 has a slight inside shade to the guard here and he clearly he's late reading it but he look how quickly he gets out of his stance that burst takes a great angle cuts him off sort of stops him in his track he tries to avoid him to the backside and now he just you know boom recovers a little bit he tries to slip underneath and now he just uses that to cut himself off and now he's in a perfect position that is an amazing rep right there like perfectly executed that's exactly what you're asking him to do in most situations pretty much this never will really happen like where you're able to cut this guy off and then you're just trying to you know at least drive him down the line take an angle where he, if you can get to the back shoulder maybe create a cutback lane off of it but the ability to actually cut him off and get your body in this spot right there this far down the field is truly like unheard of impressive type of play so those are the types of things that gives me you know a lot of hope for this prospect let's play i'm gonna break down for Hines. just seeing him on some pull action they definitely used him as a puller a decent amount and you could tell he was very comfortable pulling like he takes good angles he doesn't even slow down like a lot of times when alignment pull like this to defensive ends or even tight ends like they struggle to get good point of attacks i think this might be where he's most comfortable like you know comboing and climbing to the second level and on pull on pulls so clearly comfortable in gap skiing concepts and just boom gets out of his stance so fast for a guy of his size he moves so well boom explodes into the guy and this is where like it looks like he has better play strength than he has just because he has that momentum and athleticism to carry it and he's still a big guy just boom you can see the effect that it takes on him and just to square the guy up like that at that full of speed is super impressive uh like really like this rep from him love the dominance that he could have as a run blocker and it's honestly picking up getting him to the practice squad is almost like it's his second season but he didn't really he don't think he played a single snap last year for the patriots he ended up on ir so it's almost like basically his rookie year so you get it like and he was a six round pick only two years ago so it's like getting like a late developmental round guy on your practice squad 
um, who's still very young and has a lot of upside and I like this move. These are the type of players I think you should out of the practice squad because even, you know, if it doesn't work out, you're not able to develop them and there's not a huge risk to it. It's just a, you know, a roster spot on your practice squad. So overall, like this move. Love the athletic ability. Hines is just out here moving, man. I was so impressed with this athleticism, athletic ability, especially when I looked at his size. I was like, what the heck? So if you guys enjoyed this video, make sure to like, comment, and subscribe.